Okay, so check this out. I literally watched 14... I've been watching some of this guy's videos now, and I watched 14 minutes of this video. And then I immediately went and played a game of chess. And then check, check this shit Ladies out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's, uh, it's probably quite rare. Um, it's officially known as the Ponziani Steinitz Gambit, but I'm going to call it the Dark Knight Gambit because you're about to find out. So basically, white plays the move e4, and you play e5. I mean, so far, so good. Knight f3, knight c6, right? Defending the center against white's attack. Bishop c4 by white, and knight f6. This has to be the starting position. White has to go for a fried liver. This is the knight attack looking for bishop uh, or knight. Well, really, knight takes on f7 uh, to fork your queen and rook. If you do not have this position, you obviously just have to play a regular opening. So developing your pieces, castling etc uh here there is one video i made a long time ago on the traxler counterattack, which is fascinating but the dark knight gambit is unreal in this position what you will do is take the pawn in the middle of the board now to the untrained eye uh that just looks like a completely idiotic move uh and uh there are a lot a lot of ways white can go wrong here so we are going to look at three moves we are going to look at obviously knight takes knight then we are going to look at knight takes pawn which was the entire idea and bishop takes pawn which is the best move uh, i will of course probably what if white completely ignores the knight and continues on the journey of playing knight takes f7 that is a fork of our queen and our rook in this position, we play the move queen to h4, and from this point, black wins over 70% of the game, <laughs> which is insane. Uh, it's move five. So if you can guarantee yourself that ma massive of a winning chance, that I mean, that's that's incredible, right? So the, the, I don't the know direct threat is queen what after what breaks mate. down after this, because I know that it wasn't exact here. after this, this. bishop is very loose when but. the queen is on h4, which means the knight is also very loose. Uh, it was very right funny to me that this a, a that this got pulled so off. If white plays the move g3, that loses literally on the spot to knight takes g3. At the same time, the very aimed by the left queen back here. Let's see if he covers this move that the opponent did. So actually, remember, okay, there it is. Three happens, you take it, uh, and if castles, you take on f2. So you have to remember. Yeah, I didn't do that. Of things if the knight takes on f7 and acts like everything is okay. Um, what if the knight does not take on f7? What if your opponent sees this? Yeah, so the only the only discrepancy I had was not doing this, apparently. And I don't remember, because the stockfish wanted definitely wanted me to do that. And so I went through this, and this is how it plays out. This is crazy. What the fuck? What the fuck? This is this is this is whack. Computer's being very confusing right now. But yeah. So that's the only discrepancy that I had, but I managed to get all the way up into the spot where apparently black wins seventy percent of the time here, no matter what you do. It it did not like this move. It really didn't like this move. And it looks like most of the reasons that it doesn't like these positions is just the overall layout of the board after that. But, you know, it's assuming that people are making perfect moves after that, right? And you're not. And this guy was like, you know, at some point you just have to play chess. So, uh, to you know, it didn't, it didn't like, it didn't like this move, but, you know. This is after after this point. It's it's just chess. You don't have a you don't have a playbook to work with, you know. So it's not like there's gonna be mates walking around here. But yeah, I thought that was funny. And so I'll show you how the rest of the game played out. My game specifically. Turn off stockfish. Don't tell me what to do. So then I slid this over. It didn't like that move either. He brings a queen out. I guard my piece. He threatens my piece. I threaten the queen. He moves the queen to guard his piece. 
I guard my knight uh, extra and line up line it up with the king. He takes. I check the king, and then that's mate. There was a faster mate. Uh, apparently, if I just do this, um, I don't remember what was it. Let me see here. Yeah, so he has to move. It says he has to move. What if he does this? Oh, no, he can't do that. Yeah, he can't do that. That's right. The whole idea is he's double-checked. <clears throat> so then he has to move there, and then that's just made. So there's a one, one move quicker made, but still got him in, like, what, 15 moves? Is that what that was? I think it was 15 moves. Yeah. 